grade 6 mathematics commonly tested areas this year welcome and let us learn together keeps grade 6 mathematics 2025 so the first question the first question might come from the uh, numbers that is all numbers so as a candidate this year you should be able to read in ones and also writing these figures in symbols you read and write in symbols or you'll be given a symbol to write in ones for example two zero two zero zero two zero write this number in ones the answer will be two million twenty thousand and twenty number two we can get a question from rounding off of numbers to the nearest tens a hundred thousand or maybe tens thousand for example what is one one two three four six rounded off to the nearest ten, ten thousand number three gcd and or h c f this is greatest common divisor or highest common factor for example what is the greatest number of farmers that can share for 8 kilograms that is 624 or fertilizers equally without reminder so you are supposed to find the greatest common divisor and na hiyo ndo itakuwa njibu katika swali lile Sisemi haya ndio maswali katika kipsea but na kupredictia na kuonyesha sehemu ambazo wanaweza kukuletea exam kutoka number 4 what is the total value of numbers? For example, a certain school received 9374447 pounds on July. What is the total value of Ndenje 3? Kwa hivyo, unafaa kujua how to calculate total values of Ndenje when given such a task. Number 5. Subtraction of a whole and decimal numbers. For example, 444784 minus 84860 or 7440.89 minus 890.49. So, you are tambua namna ya and na subtract all numbers together with the decimals. Another question we can get from volume. Remember, volumes uh, ca can come from different ways. When I saw a figure or uh, that's just a diagram of a cube point or a cube. Maybe they can tell you this was a tank or a water tank. And when I take a calculate the amount of capacity or volume that that container uh, held or can hold. For example, you can be given such a diagram. Uh, a cube point whose signs are a 10, 8, and a 5. Height is 5. You are supposed to, to find the its volume. Number 7. You can be given a question from arranging numbers from either largest to the smallest or arranging them from smallest to the largest. Remember, we call this one ascending and descending on the ascending means smallest to largest descending means largest to smallest number eight we can get a question from place value of digit after decimals maybe let me give you this as an example 48.967 you are supposed to show the total value the place value of digit seven in such sum remember nine is tenth six is hundredth then seven is thousand so the place value of seven is thousand we can get a question from converting kilograms to tons for example remember that one ton is equal to one thousand kilograms just ukipewa wewe kazana kama wewe ujue how to convert tons to kilogram or kilograms to tons Number 10. 
distance covered by a certain person. Maybe you can be given such a diagram on the black bond or the white bond. Na hii diagram is just shapeless diagram, haina shape, but unasambiwa uh, muende uh, went round this figure uh, once. Uh, Unaulisa what distance? In maybe meters or kilometers did you end cover uh, during that time? Then you don't forget we can be given a question from body mass. Um, B for brackets O for of which is uh, the same as multiplication, division, mass, addition, and subtraction. For example, work out that 6 divided by 4 plus 8 minus 5. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to introduce body mass. Then uh, we have bracket. No, we don't have brackets. We have off. No, we have division. Yes. Then you close the, the nini. That is 6 divided by 4. Unaifungia kwa mabano ama bracket. Then unai work out. That is 6 divided by 4. Utapata 9. Then una proceed. 9 plus 8 minus 5. The next operation is. Do we have multiplication? No. Do we have foundation? Yes. You say 9 plus 8, tunapata ngapi? Tunapata 17. Do we have subtraction? Yes. Then you say 17 minus 5, upate torof. So torof is the answer in this case. We can also get a question from writing the numbers in patterns. Now, in this area, avoid to be tricked or trapped like a rat. Maybe, maybe, for example, well, that is this planner was trapped like just uh, what is the sum of the next two digits? Or, uh, sorry, what is the sum of the next two numbers in the pattern below? Maybe you, they can give you 21, the uh, next number is 28, then that 5, 42, then dash dash. So, what's the sum of the next two digits? Remember, this is an addition of 7 uh, to get the next number. So 21 plus 7, we get 28. 28 plus 7, that's 5. That's 7. 42, 42 plus 7, 49. So next number is 49. And the second number from 49 is 56. Remember, bandra tunja pata. So, kuna muta takimbilia kueka boy as the answer. Remember, we have to read and read the question again. What is the sum of the next two numbers in the pattern below? So the sum means addition. So you'll take 49 plus 56 to get 105. So 105 is the answer, which is D. D is the answer. 105. If we say 105, you can also be given a task from perimeter. Unazakuwa mechorewa a very beautiful diagram like this. Then wanakuuliza, what is the perimeter of this figure? Or, wanazakuwa the perimeter of this figure was blah blah blah. And one side was this. Now calculate the width of this perimeter of this figure. Now, so na fa, we subtract, then divide by 2. Remember, uh, two signs are equal. Opposite signs are equal. So if this sign is 28, the other sign is 28. They can also give you changing hours to minutes or changing minutes to hours or minutes to hours and minutes. <laughs> For example, how many minutes are in 3 hours and 30 minutes? Take 3 times 60 to get 180 minutes. Then add 30 minutes to get 210 minutes. Number 24, how many small containers will fill the big container? You take these 10 liters, divide by a half. Then, since that is not possible to divide a whole number by a, by what? By a fraction, 
we are going to multiply and reciprocate the uh, fraction. You take 10 times 2 all over 1. You get 20 small containers. In reading time on a clock phase. For example, what is the time in this diagram? The answer is 12. The answer is 15 minutes past 12. 15 minutes past 12. 15 minutes past. 15 minutes past 12. Algebra. We can be given a question from algebra. That is 12p plus 3w plus p. Now we'll also what is uh, the end product? What is the pro what is the sum of 12p plus 3w plus 1p? So the answer is 13p plus w. Or Jane had x bananas. She shared them equally to four sisters. If each sister got three bananas, write the expression to, to represent this information. So you take x divided by 4 is equal, that is the answer. Twenty-seven. We can be given a value, not a value, but a task or a question or a mathematic. Uh, let's amend. Can we can be given a question from volume? For example, uh, volume on a closed cube. Uh, how many cubes were used to make this stack? As a pair a stack, then we will use how many cubes were used to make that stack. Then days of the week, week and days. We have four weeks, three days plus two weeks, five days. So we will use how many weeks and days were there? Remember, one week has got seven days. So, skifika eight, una beba moja, una peleka sendiri ingin ikiwa one, una beba seven, una subtract seven, una ikonibati na kuwa one, una ipeleka upande wa week. So, sina kuwa eight weeks and one day. Kasa hao simifika eight days. So, that one is one week. Una ibeba una ipeleka upande wa week. Maybe another question. Ange Angerican holds that in liters and two or three milliliters of juice. How many milliliters does the Angerican hold? You take 13 liters times 1,000 1, to make it milliliters. So you'll get 1,300 uh, 13, milliliters plus two or three milliliters to get the answer. Thirteen two zero three milliliters. What is the reciprocal of this one? Reciprocal of this number. Two and a band. So you do what? You convert it into improper fraction. That is two times three plus one. The answer is seven over three. What is the reciprocal of this one? Yenye kochini na panda nju, yenye konju ina panda Mwenye ako chini anaenda nju na mwenye ako nju anaenda chini. Sita kuwa 3 over 7. Uh, another compulsory area, the interpreting information from the graph. The kwa mepewa king graph ama a table. For example, I have a table here in Mufano 2. Uh, number of learners were absent on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Monday, three learners were absent. Tuesday, three learners, Wednesday, one learner. On Thursday, no one was absent. Everyone was present. On the Friday, six learners were absent. So, you can be asked, calculate the total number of learners who were absent in that week. Now, now. the number of learners absent in that week. Then number two, you can be asked which day and highest number of absentees. The answer is Friday. So answer this in the comment section uh, by providing us or providing me with the correct answer. Which day and highest number of absentees? 
which in the end highest number of absentees. Set in Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, or Friday, which in the end highest number of absentees. So, this is what I had for you. Uh, wale ambao walikuwa na wanaingia hii box wakiniuliza prediction ya mathematics in the 60s year ni gani almost 1000 people have requested me to make this simple and short video kindly enjoy with me enjoy with them as they, we have predicted all the best in your keeps here bye bye